Can you hear that? It's just simmering. Oh, smell the aroma. It's incredible right now. Gonna stir that up. We're gonna let that reduce just a little. While that is reducing, I've got some wonderful basilico that I'm gonna chop up. And you know what? I want more than just a handful of basilico. So I'm gonna take some more. You know what? I want a good bunch, just like this. Okay, here we go. Because you are gonna take this and put this right on the top of the pasta at the very, very end. Now, we have something called ricotta salata. Many of you are asking yourself, what is ricotta salata? Ricotta salata is actually aged ricotta. And you know, for those of us who love ricotta in our lasagnas, we love it in our pasta, we love it in our rollotinis. Well, I'm gonna show you how to use this ricotta salata. It, it's a similar texture to a feta, but it's smoother and it's much softer. I, all I want you to do is to take a grater, and you wanna use the big ends right here, and I want you to have nice, beautiful slices of this ricotta salata, just like that. I mean, that is just beautiful, just like that. I love it. This ricotta salata is wonderful, served as an antipasto. You wanna take this and use it as well. Where do you wanna put it? On a beautiful tray, and put some soprezzata on the side and some olives on the side, and you got a great antipasto. Don't forget the Italian bread, you're gonna love it. Okay, here we go. This is ready to, to add that pasta. Now what are we doing? I'm gonna move this aside. Actually, take this off the counter for me. Put this right here and watch this. This is ready. You are not even gonna drain your pasta. We're gonna put it in just like this. Here we go. And see, we're gonna move that baby and he's trying to escape. Watch this. Because you see the pasta water is actually gonna make the sauce for this pasta as well. This is a real Southern Italian dish. The people from Calabria love this. Actually, the Northern Italian and Italian people love it as well. Wait till you see and try it yourself. And Barbara loves a plant. Is she gonna be in for a surprise when I give her this beautiful piatto di pasta? Beautiful plate of pasta, here we go. Watch that. This is drained, we're good. We got this on, now what are we missing? Of course we're missing the Romano cheese. You know how much I love Romano cheese. All right, here we go. Uno, due, e tre. One more, okay. We're gonna take that, and I'm gonna just stir it up, just like that. Try to keep it in the pan. Ah, look how beautiful this is. Oh, and it smells fabulous. I actually turned the heat off right now because there's no need to cook it any longer. What am I gonna do? Take all of this beautiful basilico, throw it in. You want that much. You know, the way you flavor your pasta today, instead of adding um, more fat, you actually wanna add herbs and add them to the very end. And you can never add too many if you ask me. And fresh basilico is just fabulous. Here we go. Watch this. I'm gonna take this now and put this on a plate, because I'm gonna be bringing this over to Barbara momentarily. And watch how beautiful this pasta dish is. Do you see the beautiful pomodoro on there? And the fresh garlic and the basilico? Watch this. Now, to top it off at the very, very end, this beautiful ricotta salata, here we go. Put that on, just like that. I'm gonna take one piece of melanjana, remember that eggplant that we cooked, and we're gonna put it right on the top. Isn't that beautiful just like this? This is fettuccine San Marco with melanzana. I got one more to plate, and then I'm gonna bring it over to Barbara. And I know that your family will love this. Do you see how simple this is? Oh, don't forget the pomodoro. Here we go. Take this off the flame. You don't need to worry about that. Top that with, it with a little bit of ricotta salata. One piece of melanzana. And we are about ready. But you know what? This food goes nowhere until I taste it. But guess what, guys? 
I left my fork on the table. So I guess I'm gonna have to taste it with Barbara. All of you stay tuned, because we will be right back. How exciting, viewers. I know you can't wait. I can't wait to try this wonderful dish. Uh, we're gonna direct you to Isabella's website, first of all, which is on the screen for you, Isabella's Bella Cucina, and her email address for all of you is ivacari108 at gmail.com, and there's a website for Isabella, www foodwithpassion.com. While I was reading that to you, Isabella was gracious enough to come over with these two wonderful <laughs> dishes for us to try today. I'm so excited about this. Barbara, I just knew that you loved eggplant. I do, and I, I do. I thought, I'm gonna show you a way to make eggplant that's so different. Most people, when they think of eggplant, they think of eggplant parmigiana. Right, Eggplant rollettini, right. and that's fried and breaded. Yes, and this and is- And not as healthy. Not at this all. This is very, very healthy. This is much healthier, for, and but wait till you taste the flavors. Well, the other thing that I love that you did about the eggplant, I never knew exactly how to fix it, and I saw you chopping it. Viewer, she chops it and takes off a little bit of that skin because that is what's tough. That's exactly right. And it's funny, it's when you just, you know, leave just a little bit on there. Yeah. It's very, very tender. You gotta try it. Well, I, know. I Get can't in there. wait to try it. I Use that excited. spoon. I tell you what, yeah, I don't know how to do all this. I tell you what, when you were cooking over there, I was smelling the garlic yeah. and the basil and the cheese and the olive oil and thinking, she better get over here fast because I'm getting ready to, okay, to drool. Okay, All right, well, wait. This is what you do in... Because we Italia. have a blessing. Let's pretend like we have thanked the Lord, which we are. Dear Lord, we are grateful for this wonderful And we meal. are. And I got to tell you, my mother's having a heart attack right now because we are doing salute with aqua. And we don't do that, but we're going to break that rule today. Salute. <laughs> Joy and peace and love to you, Isabella. And I love you. I love you, too. Aww. Thank you for this. My All right. pleasure. Quick with the water so we can taste. Mm. I can't wait. Here we go. All right. Sorry, viewers. Mm. I wish you could be here with us. Mmm. Oh, do you mm. love it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love this pasta. Do you see how simple it is, Barbara? How simple that pasta is and the wonderful, wonderful flavors. And combine that with the... Right. Take a piece of that eggplant now, put it on the top. Again, no sauce necessary. You just know what like I'm going to tell my husband? What's that? You call these fillets. I'm gonna say, Tommy, we're having filet tonight with a little bit of pasta. He'll be, he'll be drooling and thinking He's about a, a, a nice steak. But I'm gonna say, this is so much better for you, it and is. it's a, a dish that is not difficult to fix. And it's so funny you said that you brought up the filet because yeah. what happens is, um, you can buy melanjana really, really mm. big, and you can treat the melanjana mm -hmm. like you would a steak. It's that, and that's mm -hmm. why it's actually called melanjana al funghetti mm -hmm. because it's prepared like a mushroom. Mm. You can take the melanjana and you can chop it up in chunks and saute it the same way. And instead of putting mushrooms on the side of your right. steak, put right. the melanjana on the side. That's a great idea. With the onions. Oh my gosh, yes, it's fabulous. We are going to get so healthy here on The Good Life. When we bring you in, a lot of people think Italian food is not necessarily healthy. The way you're doing this, it is very healthy for us and we're all about that on The Good Life. And we are. And I want to feed your body, your mind, your soul, your right. spirit. And remember that it's all about getting your familia back to the table exactly. because what happens exactly. here it's conversation mm -hmm. and conversation will begin and right. it opens up an array right. of wonderful things that happen from there well and that is what the family needs when we sit down at a table together and I can also see not just sitting at the table Isabella but when you're in the kitchen I can imagine the children coming in and talking and visiting as you're fixing the meal and it does bring families together and God gives us viewers as you know this every good thing to eat and these are all the kinds of things that we need to be eating. So I so appreciate you being here today. And I'm gonna save mine because I don't want our viewers to get envious and to try <laughs> to covet my being here, having all this good food. But we do want to give you a website once again so that you can get this recipe from Isabella. Her website is www.foodwithpassion.com. And boy, is Isabella ever passionate about her food. <laughs> and you can taste the love in her food. Isabella's Bella Cucina. Her email address, once again, viewers, is ivacari 108 at gmail.com. If you don't have time to get all of that information down, you can call us anytime at TV45 and we can get you to Isabella so that you can have a wonderful recipe like this to share with your families. Thank you. Thank you, Isabella. It's always a privilege to be here. And I just love feeding all of you because <laughs> you guys love my food. 
<laughs> we do. We do love your food, and we love you, Isabella. And we Thank hope you. that all of our viewers today got a blessing by watching how easy it is to fix something Italian in the kitchen. Yeah. Well, remember also, viewers, that you can watch The Good Life anytime. If you miss a program or you want to share this program with someone, go to our website, which is tv45.org. Click on The Good Life and then watch, and then click on Watch Now. You can see the program all over again. And also, we encourage you to be a fan on Facebook.com. Are you a Facebook person? I absolutely person? am a fan of yours. It, I love your newsletter. I good. love the website. I was on there this morning, as a matter wonderful. of fact. You guys have done a great job. Well, we're trying to be, we have all these young, wonderful techie cameramen and wonderful Sean Borowski in the yes. control room. All these people are trying to teach Ken and me <laughs> how to become a little more computer savvy. You can also follow us, viewers, on Twitter.com slash the Good Life 45. In case you want to try to talk back and forth to us, we would love that. You are our family. We are family here at TV 45, Isabella. You're part we of our are. family, and we thank you for being here with us today and for the wonderful meal that I will eat later on. But viewers, I do want to let you know that we receive stacks and stacks of wonderful letters from you every single day, wonderful emails, uh, prayer requests asking us to pray, and I want you to know that we are faithful in praying for you. But Isabella, I have to just read a couple of these adorable letters that have come in recently. I love this is them. Dear Ken and Barbara, I watch nothing but your channel most of the time. Now we hear that all the time. People just turn on TV 45 and leave it on all day. I love all the teaching and preaching, but it is because it is good for my soul and for my mind. They are light to my world and wisdom that otherwise I would not have. Jesus comforts and builds me up with his truth. I appreciate all of his anointed ministries and ministers. Thank you for your prayers. I too pray for you. Rose in Apopka, thank you so much for writing that precious, precious letter. And then there's one from Sarah who said, has asked us to pray for his wife, Judy, who is in the hospital. He wants us to know that our station has had a profound impact on Judy's life because she's been bed bound for quite some time, has enjoyed watching our programs. We praise God that we are in a, uh, a place that God has put us in order to minister to so many of you out there who are hurting or, uh, or might be sick. And so we thank you for these wonderful letters. Other prayer requests that have come our way, again, there are too many to remember, but it is, this is, I have to read this one more and then viewers I'm we're gonna have to close but okay. this is for someone who has a husband who is 91 years old and she has to care for him this is Bertha in Orlando Florida we pray Bertha for you that God would continue to give you strength as you care for your precious precious helpmate so thank you viewers for all of these know and be aware that these do go to a special room to be prayed over and we will be faithful in doing that today we would like to encourage all of you with a closing scripture from Matthew 5 verse 16 that says, in the same way, let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. Now, viewers, I have mm -hmm. to tell you, part of the reason that we chose that verse today is that your light can shine in your home for your family, just like Isabella's light shone for us today as she Thank was you. cooking and sharing her love. We pray for that for you and for all of your family. We love you, viewers. We thank you for being here with us today. And until next time, we hope to see you again right back here on The Good Life.